First described in 1992 by the Brugada brothers, Brugada syndrome is a genetic disorder that can disrupt the normal rhythm of the heart. Those affected by this condition have an increased risk of sudden cardiac death. It is a much underdiagnosed condition, as most of the people who have Brugada syndrome are unaware of it due to lack of any symptoms. The normal heart has four chambers. The upper chambers are known as the atria, and the two lower chambers are known as the ventricles. Electrical impulses cause the heart to beat. The conduction of electric signals is made possible by special molecules called ion channels, which govern the movement of the positively and negatively charged particles. In Brugada syndrome, these ion channels do not function properly. The electrical impulses between the ventricles become uncoordinated. This condition is also called as ventricular fibrillation, which results in decreased blood flow to the brain and heart and can be life-threatening. Brugada syndrome can present with dizziness, fainting, and palpitations. It may lead to severe breathlessness and extremely fast and chaotic heartbeat. Sudden cardiac arrest is one of the dreaded complications of Brugada syndrome, and if not treated immediately, this sudden loss of heart function, which often occurs while sleeping, is fatal. If other family members have had Brugada syndrome, the risk builds up hugely. Although women and men are equally affected, men are more likely to develop symptoms than women. This gender distinction is probably related to the distribution of ion channels in the heart. In the presence of Brugada syndrome, fever is one of the triggering factors and can stimulate a fainting attack or sudden cardiac arrest, especially in children. Diagnosis of Brugada syndrome requires careful evaluation of the heart and the standard 12-lead ECG. The great diagnostic dilemma is in the asymptomatic patient who does not have a family history of Brugada syndrome, but instead has a suspicious-looking ECG. In such patient, Brugada phenocopies are eliminated. Brugada phenocopies are clinical entities that have ECG patterns identical to true congenital Brugada syndrome, but are elicited by various clinical conditions such as metabolic derangements, mechanical mediastinal compression, myocardial ischemia, and pulmonary embolism. Provocation ECG test is done with drugs, and once that is confirmed, the risk is stratified. If the ECG confirm abnormal pattern, electrophysiologic test is suggested in which a catheter is threaded through a vein in the groin to the heart. Electrodes are then passed through the catheter to map out any irregular heartbeats. The first line of treatment, suitable for all the patients regardless of the risk of arrhythmias, is lifestyle advice. An implantable medical device, called an ICD, or implantable cardioverter defibrillator, is the main treatment. This device continuously monitors the rhythm of the heart and also delivers calculated electrical shocks to the heart to control abnormal heartbeats. Long-term follow-up of Brugada syndrome patients confirms the clinical efficacy of ICD devices. Certain drugs that counteract the iconic current imbalance in Brugada syndrome could be used to treat it. These drugs prevent the heart from going into its potentially dangerous rhythm. For more information about list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.